Have you been wondering how to look up a data from one sheet to another sheet in Excel? So in today's video, I will be showing you how to use XLOOKUP, which is like the upgraded version of VLOOKUP, to look for data from one sheet to another sheet. Welcome to Digital World Tech Academy. My name is Akim Abiodun, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to work with XLOOKUP in Excel. So on my on my screen, I have uh, a data set right here which contains um, four different sheets. Right? So I have the in, in customer sheet, I have the customer ID, the full name, the gender, the city, and the country. Then in this other one, which is the other sheet, I have the other ID, the customer ID, the other date, the product ID, and the quantity orders. I have the product which contains the selling price and the cost price, and I have the phone number. But if you check this other sheet, you'll notice that we don't have the customer's information apart from this customer ID. So which means if I need the customer name of this of this 10,127, which is 10127, I'll have to copy the number, then find it right here, which is kind of very, very stressful. So with XLOOKUP, I can generate any of these um, columns, maybe full name, gender, city, or country, I can move it from here the, uh, and, and, and have it in this other sheet. So um, I'll just insert a new column here and call this column customer's name, customer's names. So with that, I can use XLOOKUP to look for that. I'll just say equals to XLOOKUP, XLOOKUP. My lookup value is the customer ID because that is the relationship between this order sheet and customer sheet. So I'll choose the customer ID. My lookup array will be the customer ID right here. And uh, my return array is the full name. Then I can just close my brackets and press enter. So this will give me the full name of the customer. And I can just copy it down and send um, left align it. Um, now, XLOOKUP is more easier and faster than VLOOKUP because VLOOKUP can only look from left to right, which means our lookup array has to always be at the left. But in this situation, let me just change it. So I'm just going to clear this. I'll just clear this. So let's say our customer ID is right here. I'll just cut this out and paste it somewhere around here. So I'll just paste it somewhere around here. Now, if our customer ID is right here, so VLOOKUP cannot do this for us. It's only XLOOKUP or index and match that can help us to do this. With this, I can use XLOOKUP to just do this. Then all I just have to do is equals to XLOOKUP right here. Our lookup value is customer ID. Our lookup array is still the same customer ID. And we want it to return the full name. I can just close my brackets and press enter. Then right here, I'll just copy it down. You can see whether your whether your lookup value is at the left or at the right or at the middle, wherever it is, XLOOKUP can help you with that. So you don't have to use VLOOKUP again. And thank you for watching this video. Um, feel free to subscribe to Digital World Tech Academy YouTube channel and remember to turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever we drop awesome videos like this and I will see you in another